Hey everyone, this is Cody. And Sean. This is a place to hear about the paranormal, the supernatural, and everything in between. Yo, 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 what up guys? It is Friday. It's a great day to be alive. Sean, what do you think? Oh my God. <laughs> Thank God it's Friday. That that crazy week, huh? Oh, it's ridiculous. I mean, you know, it was only a three day and it seemed like a 15 day week. <laughs> it seems, you know, it seems like the shorter days are actually the longer ones, oh, right? Oh my heavens. Well, this week, you know, just the starting of it was crazy for me too. We were extremely busy. I had to work more than usual, which sucked anyway. It's crazy. And then we ended the freaking 4th of July with a damn earthquake. Which, you know, that's amazing in itself because... A lot's going on with the planet, right? You know, let's talk about, you know, two, three planets in retrograde and a full solar eclipse on the second. Right. And, and like you said, like an earthquake on, on what, yesterday? It was yesterday. So, like, you know, makes you wonder if all of this universal stuff that's going on caused the earthquake. Well, it's it's kind of funny. I was So I was sleeping because I worked during the night and I was sleeping and I had a dream that an earthquake happened. You know, I was standing up and I saw the ground kind of go like this, like the rolling oh, hills, wait, right? Wow. And I get up and there's a freaking earthquake happening. So I'm all, wow. <laughs> What's going on there? Right. Uh, well, is it because Cody's a sensitive? I don't know. But, you know that's kind of strange, though. You, you had that. In, um, so I didn't, I didn't feel the earthquake, which I should have. I'm in the mountains here. Right. Um, I'm on the San Andreas Fault. I, don't, I believe it, it, it's from there. Maybe uh, it originated. I don't know. Yeah, I, I'm not sure either. I don't know. That. Um, but... Uh, you know, my name, okay, so long story short, um, as I'm walking, I, I took the dogs out, and I usually try to get them out once or twice a week. Um, as I'm walking them, I'm looking at the mountains, because I, I have a f- wonderful fucking view, just, it's beautiful. Um, and I'm looking at the mountains and going, yeah, I'm in the middle of a fault line, and I'm thinking earthquake. And, you know, I got to say that, okay, why am I thinking earthquake? And then I didn't feel the earthquake, because I'm sure I thought when the dogs were yanking on me that it was that I they probably felt, yeah, them. it was, it wasn't the earthquake. <laughs> they were yanking on the <laughs> Right. It's a little weird, man. <laughs> hey, you said it, not me. <laughs> okay. I don't even know. You, you caught me off guard, buddy. Thank God it's Friday. <laughs> so, you were, so you were saying, though, the, the, the yeah, dogs the, are... Yeah, you know, pulling me, basically. I'm not walking them. They're walking me. But I'm guessing at one point... I get, I'm just got to get back to my thoughts here. Um, I thought at one, I basically thought at one point, you know, it must've happened and I didn't feel it. But again, it was in my, it was on my thoughts. It's almost as if I sensed it. Right. 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 And now, you know what? It's funny because there is a lot of sensitives and a lot of mediums out there who do sense these things before it happened. Well, right. Um, and actually animals are supposed to do that too. And you know what my dog did? Not a damn thing. Yeah, yeah. He <laughs> slept. Yeah. He was in his cage so, enjoying his, his <laughs> song. Life, right. right. <laughs> and maybe that's why the dog, well, no, there'd be a normal. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but no, no. So, you know, going back to what you said, the earth is going through a change right now. Right. right. You know, I don't know if it's good. I don't know if it's bad or if it's meant to happen, but it is for sure being noticed. Oh, I'll, I'll guarantee you is meant to happen <laughs> um you know i, I think uh, in a lot of ways you know talking about you know where the planets are and, and what you feel and you know let's talk about the the full moon you know yeah. i i more often than not you know i'll have you know i don't sleep well as it is you know but i'll have good nights i'll have bad nights but you know it seems like there'll be nights where i'll be up every hour and i'm going what the hell is going on i can't sleep and then, you know, I you know, kind of blow it off, wake up in the morning, and I just felt like I hadn't slept all night. And I get in my vehicle to go to work, and and I'm looking up at the sky, and look what's looking at me, a full, huge moon. And I'm going, damn. And it happens more often than just not. Just draining, right? Yeah. Well, no, it's just intense. It's an mm. intense energy. You know, and, and you know, being a sensitive, there's, there's a lot of opportunity there. But I'm still, you know, I'm still trying to figure this all out. But... You know, but man, when there's full moons, it, it, it messes with me. And, and I get like, really, I'm edgy, you know? Well, I think, you know, I think it messes with everything. Right. So I think even the paranormal, like things start to come out more stuff's more prominent stuff happens. Electronics start messing up. Right. I mean, we were just talking about this. We actually just redid this podcast because something that never happened before my computer, I don't know. I don't really know what happened, but it split the two tracks on a recording system. 
so you couldn't hear left while right was playing, and you couldn't hear right while left was playing. There's no reason it should do that. No. I, I didn't mess with anything. It just kind of did it. And before we it, – it's funny. Sean and I actually went back to listen to the podcast, and right before we start talking, we hear this little whisper – yeah, crickling like crickling whispers. noise and like whispering like. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't crazy. know. It's it, do it, is it paranormal? I don't know, but it it was definitely something strange. What's, what's kind of bummer is as <clears throat> in the middle of that. Excuse me, <clears throat> excuse me. The middle of that podcast, we both saw a white mass next to my elbow. Yep, and, and fly, fly up. Yeah, fly up. We both looked at it. Like, Did you see that? And, and unfortunately, you, we. Wish we would have caught that live be, because it was on the podcast we had earlier. Um, we're not going to um, put that one out there just because, it, you know, it's all messed up. But, you know, while we're deciding if we were going to redo this or not, something in my kitchen moved. Yeah. And, again, we talked about this in past bod- podcasts. You know, I, sometimes things bring you, you know, follow you home. Um, I do believe there's something here. Um, I, again, I don't think it's bad. I think it's just trying to, you know, it wants to be heard. And I've been, you know, purposely um, with a good intentions to let this thing pass on. It's not ready to leave yet. Um, it's it wants to communicate with me, um, but I'm I'm <clears throat> yeah I'm done. I'm I'm off duty. There's something off <laughs> no, duty. No, right? exactly. And that and that's that's actually a big, you know, a huge ordeal. Um, it's it's good you brought that up. Is you have to set time to rest and you have to set time to boundaries, right? Yeah. Boundaries to not be in it, you know, because you'll, <laughs> it'll, it'll take you over. It'll consume you yeah. for sure. And I want to be in it <clears throat> all the time, but that we're here for a reason. Yeah. We're here to have the physical experience. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, we're here to have the physical experience and I want to be in the astral plane. I want to be out there in the universe and, and I'm, you know, that's only part of what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm supposed to be reliving this life and um, getting the lessons from this life, which some of them fucking suck. Just got to <laughs> put it out there. And I'm sure all of us have this shitty times where we got to, again, with the planets where they are too, it just does not make things easy because I'm not just dealing with my own shit. I'm dealing with everybody else around me and well, their shit too, well, right? You know, it's... It... And that and that that really goes back to to everybody, right? When they're going through that stuff, it is extremely. And I'm talking about the you know the woke people. Yeah. It is extremely hard to be like, you know what, this is supposed to happen when you're going through it. Right. Right. You and I constantly console each other on on all that all the time. Yeah. We chose this shit. Why? Yeah. But, yeah why? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you just said why? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, yeah. It's the the awareness is there, but think about the people that aren't aware. And, and they don't understand. And subconsciously, they're going fucking berserk. Absolutely. They're losing their minds. They're, you know, they're doing things they don't normally do. Um, even the people that are awake are doing the same thing. You know, what's going on around us is big. Well, I think it has everything to do with what you were talking about earlier. It is the planet changing, right? right. And not just this planet, like universal, right? right? You know, there's stuff going on in space that we have no idea what's happening. Yeah. You know, it could be a freaking we intergalactic war, right? You right. know, <laughs> we don't we don't know. We're we're because I think we're really young. I think um, planet Earth is a young planet. I think we're we're learning. Um, you know, we're we're young, but we're learning quick. I think there's a lot of energies involved in this, and I think that um, you know the intensity it, it does make people lose it a little bit. You know, I think 2012 was real. I don't think it was the end of our existence. No, but, but it I was think a change. It was a shift in what we are. Right. I mean, I think from 2012 till present and beyond is is all quick spiritual growth. Right. The veil is thinning. You, I, I don't know if you're spiritual. You're in a metaphysical. You hear that a lot. Um, I truly believe that because you, me, and Cody have seen it. Dealing with the paranormal and dealing Experience. with, you know, Cody's a, a Reiki master. He's feeling energy. He's feeling it change. He feels it intense, intensify. I'm a medium, man. Shit's crazy right now. <laughs> uh, you know, I've got so many people approaching me about things that are going on in their lives. And like, I have people I don't even know coming up to me and tell me with their personal stuff. And they don't even know who I am. But again, there's this subconscious where... Uh, humanity is looking for new direction because the old way isn't working for them anymore. I think that's where we step in as, and I don't mean we as in you and me, but 
uh, everybody who's you know awake or a light worker, or somebody who just wants to help, right? Yeah. We, we we are here to teach. Put in place, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> to do what's needed to help understand what we're going through. Right. <clears throat> Where does that tie in with uh, paranormal? Well, I mean, let's talk about what what a full moon does to energy and and what the earthquakes create when talk. Let's talk about that. Yeah. Kate. So no, I mean. If anybody who deals with energy, they know. I, let me just go on a quick little tangent. Any energy is in everything, right? It's right. In everything there is. Mm-hmm. It's in this table, this computer, us. Mm-hmm. It's everywhere, right? It's, I mean, science. They or science scientists. They track it. They try and you know feel it. They try and you know study it. Really. So the full moon greatly intensifies it, right? It intensifies everything. Um, I don't know if energetically you right. guys really pay attention, but you'll start gritting your teeth when there's a full moon. <laughs> And, um, you know, I don't know if you guys are into crystals at all. I know Sean and I are. I know Sean has quite a bit of them. Just, just a handful. But uh, when you, uh, you know, that's how they charge up and that's how they, they, they hold their energies from that full moon, you know? Yeah, let's talk about what happens when a full moon, when when it comes to uh, ocean tides. Yeah. It, 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 it disrupts things on Earth. Absolutely. To the planet. So if you think that it's not going to disrupt you or your life, you have way yeah, you yeah. Can, something's coming for you. Wipe the drool off your chin yeah. and understand. <laughs> no, but it but it does. You know, going back to what you said, it does mess with the paranormal. Um, I think it does intensify it, yeah. and it will. I want to say show itself more, right? right? Because that you got it. You got to understand is everything with the paranormal or ghosts or spirits, whatever you want to call them. They're in a different dimension, right? So they have to bring either themselves up to our dimension or down to our dimension to kind of manifest right and they need energy for that and any ghost hunter knows your equipment always dies when they're trying to manifest and that's why you guys got to carry extra batteries and all that so the moon kind of just helps that flow yeah, yeah I, i'm a true believer that again um in th- 3d that's a very dense energy because we're solid and when you're dealing with spirits or ghosts or whatever it may be that's energy Energy is a lot higher frequency, so you know, you know they are looking, especially earthbound. When you're dealing with spirits, spirits or um, ghosts, <clears throat> they're they need that energy. And I think, like you said, that full moon energy, you know, grit my your teeth. You're freaking right on. I, I I grind right into my teeth really big time during full moons. But right. that was just because the energy is so intense. In, in dealing with earthquakes, that's releasing Gaia energy, and that is huge. Absolutely. You know, and, and maybe that explains why I, we see a white mass in front of us, and all of a sudden our computer and everything goes glitchy, right. and we have to redo a podcast. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of energy happening right now as we speak, and it's 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 legit. Well, there's so, I mean, you know, to get to the scientific portion of it, there's so much friction between the tectonic plates, right? You know, they're constantly like this. And when one shifts enough, it breaks, and that's when the Earth starts shaking. So, of course, there's going to be energy. Big you like, energy you know? release, right? Man, man I, that's funny. That kind of metaphor just kind of popped in my head. Yeah, yeah. It goes, with, it, it goes hand in hand with, you know, the paranormal and, you know, the supernatural and all that. But, um, you know, that kind of brings me to a point, Sean. So what do you think about the um, – what do you, so what do you think about everything that's going on with the Earth, right? How do you think it's affecting the – the outside beings, the interdimensional beings, your fairies, Bigfoot, all, all of that crazy stuff. Well, right? so I think, um, I think dimensionally, because there's interdimensional and 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 lower and higher dimensional. Um, I I believe our planet creates when we have these these energetic shifts, if you will. Um, I think that radiates across all dimensions. I believe it, it radiates through our, our, our uh, solar system. And I think we're all connected in, in every way. I, you know, I truly believe every being from every dimension, we're all connected. We're all connected to the, the source, right. what we call God, what we call <clears throat> whatever you want to call it. Yeah, we're all connected to that. So that means that that, that person you're calling an asshole and flipping off, you know, while you're driving down Are the freeway. Are you talking about me right now? That's, or? Well, yeah, that's probably <laughs> me too. But, you know, you're connected to that person. You know, even though you don't know that person 3D, you're connected to that person. Um, yeah, we don't think about that. And I don't think about if you're being a dumbass, I'm thinking about you're being a dumbass. I'm not thinking about I'm connected with you. Oops, I shouldn't call him a dick or whatever. <laughs> Which I, I don't call anybody a dick. <laughs> Just, but, you know, I do. I, I, well, <laughs> I may stretch the truth a little bit. But, um, but you know, I just think that, um, yeah, I think that 
when it comes to dimensional, you know, I think it gives them opportunity to sh- gives them extra energy if they really want to show themselves. It gives them that extra do that. Um, you know, a lot of times I'll you know talk and we'll talk interdimensional and we'll talk about spirits. They have they need energy to manifest themselves. You know, a lot of times they're pulling it from you, me, our equipment, the batteries on whatever it may be. Uh, messing with electronics again we'll talk about you know that just happened um but having the planet do what it does i think that really just encourages them to work even that much harder because they have that extra energy which also can create issues with equipment because right. now they're highly energized um <clears throat> let's well, talk about oh sorry go ahead. Well, well i was gonna i was just gonna you know real quick on earth there is pockets with interdimensional portals if you will right i mean we've seen it in sedona or the, remember the vortexes? I remember well one of the yeah vortexes but remember we were there and one of the I think it was Andrew who said it but somebody said it if you sit on top of this vortex you see like a crystal city and I'm looking at you and I'm all this guy's out of his fucking mind what is he talking about you remember it was, that it was a local guy right yeah it was a local guy and uh, it was so sure enough Sean and I go up there and we lay on top of the we lay on top of the vor- you know so called vortex and we're feeling the energy because you know we're sensitive we can feel it and we look up and I'm not saying we see a crystal city but we see shifts in in the, the, it was weird. It was like you're looking at two different spots correct. within the same. It was like you're looking through uh, an hourglass. Yeah, like right. you're looking through a scope. You're seeing something different than what's outside. It, of, yeah, like, and like it, a it's tunnel. yeah, exactly. And it, it was bizarre. And yeah. Sean are like, or, you know, our whole mindset changed. We're all, well, maybe there is something to yeah. this, you know. And this was this is before anything really. Yeah, yeah. You know, we were just getting into our into ourself it, it was funny because you know man i encourage all of you guys to go to sun because it is amazing but you know we went there and you know they said oh there's a vortex here and there and blah 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 cody and i we didn't really ask people you know we went there and we had an open on what we were going to do and we found places we were supposed to be right you know we you know there's retreats we've got friends that are doing retreats you know that are mediums and psychics um we don't need that because every time we go, it's almost like being at home, a second home. It's so inviting to us, and we, you know, we find those vortexes. And I think again, is there an affiliation? I don't know, but it just seems like those things come natural. And again, maybe it's just our awareness and where we're at. But man, it's just again going with energy. I want to, you know, let's talk about the fairy thing. I mean, yeah, you know. That's interdimensional. You, Tink, are we talking about Tinkerbell or? Yeah, oh, Tinkerbell, you know, Peter Pan ain't here, so, <laughs> and I ain't wearing tights, so <laughs> <laughs> that's not happening. But, you know, uh, go, going back to our tri- trip to Iseti, you know, you know, you got sick. You didn't want to talk about that? And Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was in, uh, I was in Iseti and, you know, I got sick and um, I don't know what it was. We were, I think we were sitting around the campfire or something, but something sparked and I got sick <laughs> and uh, I went over to the tent. And um, I remember Sean was saying before we got there, you need to find time to be by yourself, right? Yeah. So, um, so I walk over to the tent, and um, I think I connected with um, extraterrestrials that were there. Right. And I think that was interdimensional. I think that we're dealing with an energy that's there, that, but it's shifting between – because Mount Adams is just, again, there's a lot going on. We could talk about – because, um, you know, f- fairies, okay? The, the first time I went there, I saw a fairy. Um, you know, I was very reluctant to even say that because that well, sounds insane. Well, how do you tell people that, right? How do you say, hey, bro, I was just at this retreat and I saw a fairy. It just so happens I saw a fairy. <laughs> but I know that, that that's interdimensional. You're dealing with something that will show itself to that specific person because they're supposed to see it. I didn't choose to see a freaking fairy. <laughs> and I wasn't the type of guy that would believe in fairies. No. But to to be able to see it with my eyes and to g- catch a photograph. Unfortunately, I can't share the photograph because when I got that that chip back to my home in Victorville when I lived there, it disappeared. Uh, it disappeared. Um, I don't think that was by chance. I think that that was something that they didn't want me to share. But I was able to have that experience and, and, and prove to myself that it happened. Um, well, it was an experience for you. Yeah. Right. And it you was. Know, and I knew that. And that's your experience. You right. Know, nobody can take yeah. that away. And it was it was the the door opening of understanding something different than I so, truly believe. So do you think if you did not experience that, you'd be where you are today? Hell no. Right. That that 
one experience, not even the whole experience I had at Yeseti, because Yeseti was amazing in so many different ways. That one experience Defined, changed right? it. Yeah. It, it, I'm on a different playing field at that point. I dropped all of my old beliefs and knew that I, what I was believing in the past was not real anymore. So my, yeah, so that, that, that's kind of what I was getting at. Did that kind of change your aspects Absolutely. on everything? So I think for me, that's when it, mine, what changed me, my perspective on everything was seeing that full body apparition. Wow. Seeing that face <laughs> was freaking phenomenal, right? And then opening the door and nothing's there. Can I, I, I still think, how the hell is this leaf blower going to be on without being plugged in? You dude? know, that was, yeah, that's that in was an earlier too. podcast, both of them, but that's going to be our most, uh, our, our first paranormal experiences. That's actually what got me into it. So you guys should dude, check out that episode, but that's crazy, bro. It like, was just there, not plugged in on. And I'm looking at my buddy like, what the fuck are we going to do? <laughs> yeah. You're going, okay. I truly believe in paranormal now. I mean, how could you not? Like, yeah. Um, unless there's a power source coming from your ass, like, yes. you know what I mean? It's like, how do you like the 3d mind just, it would blow it. Right. Absolutely. You're like, this is, this is amazing. Well, that's why, you know, people, even people who are so skeptical and so 3d, you know, involved, they see something like that and they, they just don't even have an opinion yeah. about it. I don't know how you can not have an opinion about that. Well, you know? I, I think the struggle is, is when you're not aware, it brings fear. Right. So I think that it's just easy for a person that, you know, is maybe not as aware. I like to use aware because, you know, it's, it's an experience you have that helps you be more aware, right? And you and I have had a lot of experiences that helped us be aware. But I think that if someone isn't aware and these things happen, it's a lot easier for them to say, I didn't see that. That didn't happen. I'm going to ignore it. So they're not afraid. Right. Because so it's a defensive mechanism. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's the ego, right? That's the ego saying, yeah, you're out of your mind if you say anything to anybody, but really it happened. And that's just the left brain trying to protect itself. But, you know, it's, you got to find that balance. And I think everybody has some type of experience. You know, everybody in life, no matter where they are right now, somebody's had an experience that made them go, what the hell was that? Yeah. Or, or and I'm crazy. You yeah. Know? Or, hey, um, yeah, I'm thinking about my friend here. Oh, the phone rings. Oh, it's my friend. Like, okay, what do you think that is? And I'm sure it doesn't happen just once. Right. It happens often. Well, that's like seeing the times that we see, right? Numerology, 11, 11, 12, 12, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, all of those. You all know? the time. They're all divinely guided. They're all messages, and they're all telling us to pay attention to whatever they're trying to tell us. Yeah. And I think that, you know, I encourage everybody out there – you know, if you're you're listening to this podcast, you're obviously searching and you're trying to figure out what's going on. And hey, you know, I truly encourage everyone to go within because that's where it's at. Um, you know, here I'm going to talk about meditation, and you know, I'm a lot of these people I'm sure that are going to listen to this is not necessarily what they would go for, but maybe they are. But you know, you want to understand things a little bit better. You know, quiet the mind, give yourself a chance to not think <laughs> and there's a lot of great apps out there to help you with that but um going back to like you said the interdimensional uh, outer dimensional um i want to talk about poltergeists so let's talk about something fun like that like <laughs> poltergeist um demonic because again those are ghosts those are lower to one dimension and, and when he says lower he doesn't mean like not strong or anything like that. He just means a very negative. Lower vibration. Yeah, very, very negative vibration or lower right. vibration. Very dense vibration, which is more the negative and ugly thinking and, you know, dealing with elementals. They're a lower. I don't want to say they're lower. I want to say they're fourth dimension. Um, but dealing with, like, the negative stuff, that's the stuff that's never – you hear that? Yeah, in I did. The room? Yeah, yeah, again, we're, in the kitchen. <laughs> we got stuff going on in the kitchen. I, I love it. But um, that's dealing with, like – um, things that have never been human, demonic, um, you know, just trolls. Yeah. Uh, amps. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Ugly, negative things. Well, the, yeah. so what do you think poltergeist activity is versus demonic? Uh, uh, well, I think poltergeist activity is done with a, a gifted individual that doesn't know how to channel or relieve the energy they have within themselves. So I think when they get to a certain state, a lot of times because they're so sensitive and they're so, again, I'm sensitive and I've claimed it, so that helps me resolve and, and not push everything down. But when you got a sensitive that 
might know, but it's just pushing it down and is dealing with a lot of stress and ugly and all of these things that cause grief in this person, all of a sudden they're manifesting a, a, what I don't, a ghost. Yeah, absolutely. Which is their own making because they're gifted. A lot of times it's a physical medium, physical mediumship. They, they're able to move things, but they're not, a lot of times it's, they're not aware of it. And so I would truly believe that, um, that's done by a, a sensitive um, that's how uh, that's how poltergeists are created. So, what do you think about the poltergeists that are like at abandoned places or like stuff being thrown off the wall at you? Or I don't stuff think like that? I don't think that is poltergeist. Okay, I think, what do you that, think that is either a demonic mm -hmm. or a negative um, energy, a negative human being, or, right. which would be a fourth dimensional person right. um, that has bad intentions. But um, again, that's a human used to be a human that is now on the astral or is a spirit, not a ghost, um, trying to create chaos. Right. Um, demonic is definitely negative because a demonic has never been a human. Um, I truly believe there are demonics. It is rare cased. Um, but man, that that's something that doesn't have compassion, doesn't know what love is. Right. So when you introduce that to a, a demonic, it doesn't like it. It's it's damaging. I agree. I agree. Um, and, and 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 it's because of that high frequency that 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 love and light brings in. Um, yeah, I think uh, yeah, see that difference. Demonic, negative energy. And then poltergeist. Poltergeist. Well, if, and so if you guys are dealing with any type of you know situation with that please feel free to give us a call because yeah. that's that's where sean and i kind of shine right um, yeah and we want to learn about it too it's a great opportunity for us to learn what's going on um and how to deal with cases with the individual and anything beyond that um man if you feel like you're sensitive get yourself into meditation calm the mind breathe help try to clear that and and you'll uh, as as you control that better, you're probably going to see a decline in, you know, your chaos. Yeah, in the chaos that you've created, and it's it's you know it's not no, I mean not the chaos you're in is not what you created, but the poltergeist is what you've created. It's calming the chaos to help relieve the poltergeist. Absolutely. Uh, hopefully that does that make sense. Absolutely, makes, sense. makes perfect sense. So and in again calling us and and we can coach you with that. We can give you some ideas and and how to try to relieve that in some way. Yeah, well absolutely. Well hey guys, thanks for tuning in. I don't you know, we don't want to leave this on a on a bad note, but tune in next Friday cuz you know, it's going to be Friday. Woohoo. And uh <laughs> yeah, feel free to give us a like on uh, all of our social media platforms and uh if you know anybody who's into the paranormal, the supernatural or anything in between, let us know.